Hello there, fellow YouTubers. Uh, greetings from Portugal. My name is Nuno. Um, today we are and following the videos that uh, I'm making on the new uh, MacBook Pro 15-inch late 2011, uh, the 2.4 GHz one. Uh, as you know, Apple uh, only ships these units with 4 gigs of RAM. I think that's uh, uh, for this kind of machine that's that's not uh, enough, uh, and I have been experienced that in uh, in Final Cut. So the CPU it's wonderful, but the RAM you know 4 gigs it's not enough. That's why, and I told in the previous video that the next upgrade that I, uh, I'll be doing it's the 8 gigs of RAM, and today. I bought the the two uh, sticks of four gigs each, so eight gigs of RAM. I have done that procedure on my late uh, on my mid 209 model uh, MacBook, and uh, it was uh, definitely definitely a good a good uh, update, a good upgrade. So I'm doing that now in uh, in this uh, late to to 11, um, improving from four gigs to eight gigs. So let's go ahead. I know prob probably you know you have seen my last video, but uh, for the ones that are watching for the first time, uh, let's go ahead with that procedure for you to know uh, how how easy it is to to do this. But um, on the I'm going to make um, a Geekbench first uh, uh, on this MacBook Pro with four gigs um, for you to see. And, uh, and then we'll do another Geekbench uh, with the 8 gigs installed. Uh, I should warn you that uh, despite the fact that we, you are increasing the RAM, uh, Geekbench uh, sometimes uh, gives you a lower result. But that in, uh, it's, not, you know, it's, it's, it's not very accurate because in, the, in a everyday use you see in fact uh, the, the advantage of having the, the, the 8 gigs installed. By the way, this is not Mac version or this is a uh, general version you can use in Mac or in PC. Um, as you know, or if you don't know, uh, they increase a lot uh, in the RAM if they say it is for Mac. But in fact, and that's my opinion, you can, be, you can have another opinion. In fact, uh, the RAM is equal. Uh, it can change in very, very uh, special cases. but. This is Kingston RAM, RAM, it's proved on the market and it works on PC and on Mac. So guys, uh, with this commentary, let's go ahead, let's see the Geekbench uh, with, the, with the stock unit and then go to the install procedure and do another Geekbench after the installation. Okay, let's move the camera and i see you in a while. Okay, very well, let's perform the Geekbench on the on this Mac with the stock um, <coughs> with the stock specs, so this is as you can see in the camera um, a MacBook Pro 8.2 uh, Intel Core i7 uh, running at 2.4 gigahertz, and it has 4 gigs uh, of uh, DDR3 installed, uh, running at this megahertz, and the operating system is the last. Uh, build of uh, Mac OS 10 Lion. Let's put this in Intel 64 bits and run the benchmark. I have noticed in when I made the update on the on my late MacBook uh, Pro, the other unit that I already sold, that uh, the fact that I increased the RAM to eight gigs, the Geekbench was at, at a lower result. But uh, in everyday use, you see performance. You see, in fact, performance. And probably in this unit, it will happen the same thing. But. Okay, we have 11,000, uh, let me put this here for you to see, you have 11,400 uh, on 
these units. Let's make you okay. Uh, and you have a performance in memory of five thousand eight hundred and three, and you have a memory bandwidth performance of six thousand two hundred and fifty six. Okay, so this is the stock one with four gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead to the install phase. Okay, we have already the computer, uh, the laptop in position, so uh, the top upside up. So, um, what you have, I'm not going all to all the, to all, taking all the screws because there are lots of tutorials on this. What you have to know is that, so the ventilation system is here, um, and your DVD slot is here, okay? You have to know that these one, two and three screws are longer than all the others, okay? You have 11 screws, okay? Um, so you, you have ten, ten, four, four and two on each side, okay? So I'll be back when the cover is removed. Well, we already took uh, the bottom of this uh, laptop and uh, now you have, of course, the system here. You have, I've already installed uh, my old SSD in this, uh, in, this, uh, MacBook, in this new MacBook Pro. So now we, what we have to do is, uh, of course, remove the old RAM, but after, but before I will open the new uh, Kingston. Uh, sorry, no focus, the, the Kingston four gigs each module okay let's open this one Okay, here we have ready to go inside. Be careful with the screws not to lose them because they are extremely small. Okay, first step, let's go ahead here. Let's make a here a small zoom. There are two, uh, <coughs> I don't know how, how this is called, uh, two clips here uh, for you to pull, okay? this position go ahead and do this okay for for the first model without of your all the static okay and let's go ahead with this very gently okay it's a simple procedure but you have to be gentle with this okay so as you can see automatically it, uh, it comes comes up in this 40 degree angle and you can pull Okay, the first model out, let's put it here, one, and let's go to the other one, the same thing, one, and then the top one you have to release also in order for this to come out, okay, it's out, pull it, okay, done. Now. Let's go ahead with the new modules and check. You have here this, okay? Check what, what is the right position. Look at the, in the motherboard uh, the right position, okay? You have the same, I don't know how this call in English, uh, okay? The same gap. So you have to align. And I, I'm noticing that this, this is not the right position, so I have to turn it around, okay? This is the right one, and, and on a 45 degree angle. I'm sorry about the hands because uh, it's not. Let's take out the zoom a little bit, okay? Here, and on a 45 degree angle, try to align very gentle, gently. Pull it, not pull it, push it, 
okay seems okay and then you hear two clicks one two it's inside okay now for the other one same thing 45 degree angle align it push okay it's in and then done okay so guys this is it we already have the 8 gigs install 4 gigs model uh, 4 gigs uh, stick so here you have two uh, places to put the RAM now you have 4 gigs on each of them okay on the on the and I took as you know 2 gigs of RAM 8 4 gigs total from the original specs so now I'm going to put the cover um, and then we'll perform another gig, gig, uh, gig bench okay see you in a while okay let's go ahead um, with the new gig bench now with 8 gigs of RAM let's make here a zoom for you to see okay uh, here you have it 8 gigs of RAM installed here okay you can also see it here about this Mac um, I'm going to make here a zoom and just a minute Eight gigs, okay. So and let's start with the sixty four Intel and run benchmark. course now that I'm doing the video I don't remember the, the score on the memory uh, I remember the overall uh, score I, I suppose it was 11,400 probably will get less but that's normal well <laughs> that's a lot more that we, than that we get as you remember the first score was 1100 11,400 and now we have 11,537 and that's a uh, for a memory bump that's very 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 good um, I'm going to upload this <coughs> okay this is this is good okay I'm going to move the camera now for <coughs> talking a little bit more and see you in a while. Okay, let's wrap up all this uh, this video. Um, it uh, f the final result was very very good, so uh, an improvement. You can check before and after. Okay, uh, on the memory uh, score but uh, the Geekbench it's not always as accurate uh, as we can uh, ima imagine so in the in the everyday usage in Final Cut in Photoshop you will see in fact um, a difference but that's my experience um, so guys this is it um, uh, again uh, thanks for watching and all the best and I will see you on further videos bye bye